welcome to our channel skills learning network that is excellence learning today we are going to start our topic of nutrition and food test food test deal with the identification and determination of food substance present in a different food sample in food test we have a types of food to test and we have different food substances within our environment so the types of food usually we have carbohydrates and carbohydrates are categorized in three forms we have monosaccharides which is reducing sugar or simple sugar we have disaccharides non-reducing sugar or complex sugar and then the third we have polysaccharides this contains starch the second is protein that is a type of food the third there is a lipid which contains fat in different form is fat and oil so we have three in that case but when we are going to test it means carbohydrate is divided into three reducing sugar non-reducing sugar and the starch so in case of that we add a protein and a lipid which are independent so the types of food test in our nutrition and our food test practicals we will have starch, we will have reducing sugar, we will have non-reducing sugar, we will have protein, and then the last we will have lipid. That is the type of food we are going to test. So, in order to know the food substance present in our sample, or in our food sample, we have chemical reagents to use in order to identify according to the specific observations in practicals let's go to see the chemical reagents on a food test from starch up to lipid food test for starch chemical reagents used after putting the sample we use iodine solution to complete our test then what we are going to observe observation we are supposed to observe blue black color that is the presence of starch if we appear blue black color we know that is starch reducing sugar after putting sample we add benedict solution then we have warming then color change from blue to green yellow orange to brick red then the third is that this non-reducing sugar we use hydrochloric acid after putting the sample solution of the food sample we add sodium hydroxide and then we add benedict solution the color changes from blue to green, yellow, orange to brick red precipitate. Another food is protein. Chemical reagents, sodium and 1% of copper to sulfate. And the observation we have supposed to observe purple color. The rest food is lipid, which we are using. Sudan 3 is the red observation, red ring formed at the surface of the solution. There is a case why why on testing non-reducing sugar and reducing sugar why we warm we are warming due to the following reasons warming is important to enable the reduction of copper 2 ions which are present in the benedict solutions we remember that benedict solution is prepared by mixing materials including copper to sulfate so we want to, to make reduction of copper 2 ions present benedict solution to copper 1 ion in order to get the color change from the blue green yellow orange to big red so when you are going to to ignore heating or warming on that test of reducing sugar and the non-reducing sugar it means will be no color change from blue green yellow to orange to brick red so that is our introduction for food test and the nutrition. So we add the, the following principles on writing food test report. After testing, you are supposed to have a tasty food test report. The following you are supposed to note. One report should be presented in tabular form. That is one. The second the report must be written in the reported speech. For example, two drops were added or two meals was poured. That is reported speech. 
the third solution and the reagent used must be quantified let's say don't say few or some or little that be specific two mils one drops two drops that is very important another principles commanding language like add put should be avoided that is very important and then observation should be stated in the form of color change for example blue color observed or purple color observed and not otherwise so awareness during the full test practical report and uh, make sure you are supposed you are supposed to be aware on the following awareness during food test practical work a or one specific volume solution used should be specific specific number of drops of volume chemical reagents should be specific and the correct procedure example shaking boiling cooling and settling for some minutes Spe specify the time example five minutes left some not to say some just specify the time five minutes two minutes or one minute and then correct the identification of color make sure you write in correct way of identification of the color and not the otherwise and the rest be sure with the proper procedure where two reagents are used and then remembering which reagents are used first and then which reagents are used at the last i think for introduction of food test and the nutrition now is the end so for another time we will see one by one test of the food substance thank you let's subscribe our channel and then you will see more another tutorials here inside thank you for listening